Alright guys, so this is my first video on the patches for the SC2 beta. I know you guys are pretty interested in the balance changes that they've been doing, so uh, here, I'm just going to sum up what they've done into a little patch uh, patch analysis. So here we go, I'm skipping the general at the uh, at the top of the patch because that's more for just the beta, how the battle.net 2.0 is working. Right now we're just going to look at the other stuff, so here we got some general changes improvement to pathing so um, block ramps and choke points that's that's a nice improvement um, and made a change to how zerg creep affects doodads such as trees to prevent players from seeing the starting location of zerg players through the fog of war that is smart I didn't even know that happened that's probably a good change alright so we're gonna move on to Terran uh, the Viking cost up for minerals Vespin gas went down 25 so plus 25 minerals down 25 gas um, not really gonna change much. It's still gonna be a massed unit and Imba in my opinion. But uh ghost, biggest biggest uh change that I thought. Cost increased for minerals, decreased for gas, so another um moot change. A little more gas or less gas, so easier to build in my opinion. EMP round radius decreased from three to two big boost for the Protoss. This is now going to make High Templars way more effective against the Protoss race. Or, High Templars way more effective against the Terran race, excuse me. And, um, yeah. This is going to be a big, big, big you know, change. I don't know if it's going to be Imba yet, but uh, I know the ghosts were pretty devastating to uh, Protoss High Templars. Uh, factory? Here we got here, cost decrease, so you know, considering factories aren't are pretty much the you know, just tech up to get starport and no one really uses them at all because they build the shittiest units I've ever seen. Uh tech lab. You know, cost decreased, so they're wanting people to tech. Reactor time increased. This is gonna be another huge change for the Terrans. As uh, they're not going to be able to spit out their marines as fast. Oh no, no marine massing anymore at the beginning of the game. Don't want. Anyways, SCVs, life reduced. Good thing. People were recharging in with their SCVs and they're pretty good meat shields against, uh, like, they have way more health than drones and probes do, so they were meat shields and that's pretty Imba for the Terran. Bunkers. They were pretty mobile, which is sort of odd for a building, but I, then again, Terran's buildings fly. Odd enough. Anyways, build time, so not only can you get all your money back, they also build faster. Gonna be a pretty big cheese strat going on here, I think. Marines, build time increased, good stuff, good stuff, less marine massing. Uh, Protoss, so we got the Colossus. Thermal Lance's damage decreased from 23 to 20. Uh, not a big change, the Colossus is rarely used in now. The, it's a lot less, you know, effective compared to, like, other Protoss units, the Immortal, Imba, <laughs> anyways. So, maybe we'll see the Colossus used even less now, I'm not too sure. Well, they're more of a support range unit anyways. Uh, Observer, so we're going to see the Observer go up 25 in both gas and minerals, and build time increased. I guess Blizzard assumed that uh, the Observer was a little overpowered for being uh, both stealth and able to detect other stealth units. Stalker, damage increased, f normal damage increased while armored damage plus plus whatever damage to armored, excuse me, can't talk today, is uh, reduced the same amount. So we're going to see more, the stalkers are going to be more effective against all units. And they're going to do the same amount of damage to armored. Weapon upgrade. So the upgrade is only going to add plus one damage to uh, their particle disruptors. And not, it's not going to make a difference against armored like it used to. Uh, Dark Templars and High Templars, Biological Psionic to Biological Psionic Light Armor. So I'm guessing this is just going to affect the plus damage to armor. I'm guessing the bio Biological Psionic Light, not much, don't know much about these armor types, but I'm guessing it's going to make a difference for units like the Stalker up here, which do bonus damage to armor. Uh, Dark Shrine which spits out, allows you to spit out Dark Templars, excuse me, uh, build time increased by 20 seconds, and cost increased for gas. Uh, moving on to Zerg, so we got the Baneling, and 
this is going to be pretty big. Banelings now do more damage, five more damage to all units in when they explode, and minus five compared to before. So they get a five less light bonus damage, light armor bonus damage, but they get plus five normal damage. I think this is going to be a huge shift for Zerg players. I think after the Baneling was nerfed so hard in uh, one of the fir original patches, this is going to bring it back into the game. Roach, big nerf here going on. We got regen rate decreased by half and upgraded burrow regen rate decreased by half again. So burrowed roaches aren't going to be so, you know, annoying the hell out of me as I'm a Protoss player. Anyways, though that's my patch 6 analysis. That's just looking at the balance changes. If you like this video, I can keep doing them on the uh, patch as the new patches are released. They get released about, I'd say, once a week, so it's an extra video I can put in my repertoire. Anyways, if you like this video, please rate, comment, subscribe. Anyways, thanks for watching. This is Josh with SC2 Strategies. Have a good one.